If you would like to learn how to build a camper van like this yourself, then please check out my other YouTube videos. So if you guys have found these videos helpful, you can help me out in a big way by picking up a copy of my first ever album that my brother and I recorded in Nashville late last year. Any proceeds will go to future recording projects as well as taking the van on tour and hopefully promoting it. I'll leave a link in the description and talk a little bit more about it at the end of this video. Okay folks, so we're just getting ready now to install our hob unit into place. I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. There's the face of our unit. It's got these little rubber seals around the rings here to stop it from uh, vibrating around as the van's moving and making noise, which is handy. And that's what the rear end looks like. So we'll be putting an 8mm miller, eight millimeter, sorry, um, gas pipe onto this section here, and that will supply our gas line to our two hob systems, and then it's closed off there at the end. So one thing to consider then folks when you're buying your hob unit is you need to also make sure you allow enough distance from your hobs to any walls or shelves. There are minimum distances set out in the manual here. For instance, it's 13.5 centimetres from the head of the burner to any walls, 50 centimetres from the burners to the ceilings or shelves, and 3 centimetres uh, underneath. This is the HB2325 that I'm using. It's a really nice little one. Speaking of the manual, it's a good idea to read through this before you install. On here, they'll have the dimensions set out of the cutout that you need to make to install the hob unit into the kitchen worktop. So I can follow those. For the more popular units, you can buy these cardboard cutouts as I showed you before. This was for the Smev 9222, which is a sink and hob unit combination. I bought this on eBay and then you can simply just draw around this one because they were quite complicated, the dimensions on the manual so this will save you a lot of time. Okay so one thing I would recommend is making sure that you cut the hole out for your hob unit before you actually install the kitchen worktop onto the kitchen unit. The reason I'm doing it this way around is because I was going to use a different hob unit which now isn't going to work. So as you can see we've added our dimensions into our worktop. I've taken the dimensions from our manual and drawn them all out and we're going to follow that line with the jigsaw to cut our hole out. As you can see, I've also added masking tape all around the edges. This is so that the arms of the jigsaw don't mark our worktop. We're going to now use a flat bit just to put a hole in for our jigsaw blade to enter. Great, so with our hole in place, we can then insert the blade, the jigsaw into there. And I'm just going to take my time as I run through this because I don't want to... Uh, go too far out. You can go a few millimetres out, so don't worry too much. Um, but yeah, you want to keep it pretty close to that line. Uh, I think my camera's probably going to fall off as I start doing this, as it will vibrate. But yeah, just go ahead and follow your line and make your cut. There it is. You might even be able to uh, repurpose that for something. In fact, I've just had a thought on what I could use that on. Here, I was going to have a little drop down table. That's just saved me joining the wood together. Alright! Okay, so go ahead and just check that your hob unit fits. Okay, so we're going to add our little bit of rubber trim now that comes with this. We're going to start from the rear end of the unit. Uh, the reason being is when this comes all the way around and rejoins the starting piece, there'll be a small little slit which we can hide from view by doing it this way. So starting from the middle, you can see there where we have to push it on to that little slit on the rubber trim. Okay, and just press it in as you go around. And then we're going to get a sharp blade and we'll just cut that edge off. There we go. So if I turn that around. So that's what our edge now looks like. It's covered in dust obviously because there's sawdust everywhere in here. 
but we can go ahead and install that now. Okay, so you can see our rubber trim in place. You should get a set of screws and they've got a couple of other little bits in there which I'm going to show you. Right at the moment we just have a bare hole and the screws they provide would actually go straight through there if you were to just install them straight off. So what you have is this little cup thing. It does, you can see it. We'll just place that into there first. Okay, then we put our screw in. You could do a pilot hole, this makes it easier. But I'm using a screwdriver. So any power tool, like a drill, might be a little too powerful for tiny screws like this. And it might pull that cup out the other side. But what that's also done is it's pushed down on the rubber seal here to make sure there is a really good seal in case any water spillage comes underneath here. So we're going to go around all the corners and do that. And also, once you've finished that, you've got these little plastic stops that can go over the top, finish it off. I won't push that all the way in yet in case I can't get it back out, but <laughs> that's how it will go. Great, so there we have it. It's quite a tidy little unit, this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the gas a little bit later, and I'll show that in a separate video. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Please like and subscribe and check out our other content on all things camper. As I mentioned before, I've just recorded my first album. We'll need all the help I can get. So I'll leave you with an album preview for now and a link in the description if you'd like to pick up a copy. Joe Edwards says the names and all the night uh, keep on running in that one over here. It's never trouble. It's a couple of shots in the news. Let's an album new show. Let's keep on running. Joe Edwards from the UK. Don't let the bastards get you down. Yeah, right. Que sale el 22 de mayo a través de Tiny Mountain Records. Aquí está Joe Edwards. Well, ain't feeling right. Been burning up in the night. Yeah, but I can't tell when it's going to end. So keep on running, God. Keep on running through the heat. Well, you got it. Well, six dollars short, but my soul is clean. from home Yeah, but before I get there the engine's blown When will all this trouble see? Yeah, they 